Welcome back to Good Day Colorado. It's the number one reason a lot of couples divorce. We're talking about infidelity. And an author and Denver native joins me this morning. She wrote a new novel which explores the subject. Jessica Brody joins me now. Welcome to Good Day, Jessica. Thank we can you. see a cover of your new book, oh, which yes. was just published, right. The Fidelity Files. Now, I have to ask, you know, obviously, you haven't quite hit 30. Not yet. You're fairly <laughs> young. Why the topic of infidelity? You know, I've witnessed a lot of infidelity in my life, just other people. Um, when I'm going out with friends or co-workers and alcohol is clouding people's judgment and you see people doing appropriate things and I've been stuck in the situation of do I tell someone that this is happening? Do I tell someone they've been cheated on? Uh, which I think a lot of people can relate is you get stuck in do I tell or do I stay quiet? And I never had the courage to actually tell anyone that they were being cheated on, whether it was a friend or, or not. And so I decided to create a character who tells, you know, she tells the truth. That's what she does. So you can hire her to test your spouse to see if they'll cheat on you. So, ta yeah, talk about the premise uh, of this book. And uh, you live in L.A. now. I live in L.A. now. But you were... I grew up here. You grew in, up here, which yep, is great. I'm from Douglas County. And you were... Oh, well, we'll talk about the book first, okay. and then I want to talk sure, about sure. this interest in writing. <laughs> okay, the character, main character, is from Los Angeles. Yes, she's from Los Angeles. She's a fidelity inspector, which basically means that suspicious women, wives, and girlfriends will hire her to go out and test their men's fidelity to see if they'll cheat on them. Um, so it's called an intention to cheat test. And these statistics are overwhelming. <laughs> Nearly 40% of all married men cheat on their wives. This is what scares me. Less than 30% <laughs> of these women ever find out. Right. So how did you go about doing your research for the book? Did any of that research come from Colorado? Um, well, you know, I researched everywhere. I, I, I interviewed men who have cheated. I've interviewed women who have been cheated on. I kind of, I really wanted the reactions of the characters in the book to be real. I wanted the men who were cheating to, to be cheating for the realistic reasons, and I wanted the women to have realistic reactions to that. So you, You've just had so much success. I mean, this <laughs> book has uh, received rave reviews, and I understand when you were younger, even at seven years old, you were writing your own books and <laughs> yeah. trying to bind them together. And talk about your your writing teacher who had an influence? Oh, well, I went to Ponderosa High School, and uh, it's my senior year. I took a creative writing class with uh, Mr. Reeves, and that kind of reawakened my passion for writing. I mean, he was just so supportive, and everything I did was, you know, he, he just was behind me the whole way. And so um, I think that really kind of gave me the little extra nudge that I needed because you know when you're writing at seven years old and it's it's hard to tell at that point whether or not it's going to be any good. Now your books are in real bindings. Yeah, which is amazing. Real have binding. you been in touch with your old teacher? I haven't, you know, but now that I'm here, I should probably look him up and well, I don't even know if he's there he's anymore. Watching, which would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. What's next for you? Uh, well, I'm working on a sequel right now. It comes out next year. Uh, the publisher already bought it, so that'll be out in a year. Um, and uh, we're hopefully going to be making a TV show based on it. Um, oh. There's been some interest on that. So, you a fan of Sex in the City? Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite show. <laughs> you never know. This could be a huge success, just like that was. That based would be on awesome. <laughs> well, we're so glad you came by. Good Thank day, you. and you should stop by again as you I definitely continue will. to I definitely will. succeed in writing your novels. And if you want to meet Jessica and find out more about her book, she is taking part in a book signing. That's tonight at seven o'clock at the Tattered Cover. This is the one on Elizabeth and Colfax. And again, thank you. Your book looks interesting. Thank I'll have you to so read much. it. So I know all the warning signs just in case. But <laughs> my husband would never do that. Shaw and Ken, isn't this amazing? She's so <laughs> successful and I, I don't know, I feel intimidated. She's only what, 28? I <laughs> know. It's so, it's so good to see Colorado people go out and make it big. Yeah.